Hey guys, it's Chelsea and welcome back to my Christian channel. We are going to get right into today's video. And today is August 2nd. Tell your story. Let the Redeemer of the Lord tell their story. Those that was he redeemed from the hand of the foe. Psalms 107 too. What's your story? What is so complex you barely know where to begin? Or you think it's too intimate to tell? Be assured, assured that it matters. From the beginning, God had you in mind. He planned you out to the teeniest detail. He has loved you forever. The way in which you discovered this beautiful truth, or the way it is currently un unfolding, is of great significance. Begin, begin telling it to yourself. Be ready to share it when the time comes. Lord, when I consider your story, mine to be so small that you choose me to be a part of it is too wonderful to comprehend. Thank you for my story. Father, may I learn to see it as you do. Significant, significant, beautiful, and worthy. So, now I'm actually going to go and read a story like I did yesterday from somebody. And it says, read Genesis 4-7. So that is up to you guys if you want to read it, and I really encourage you guys to read Genesis 4 7 and just read the whole Genesis book chapter in the Bible. In the face of very real temptations, remind yourself of the loving God who wants to fight for you and protect you. And also remember that you have an enemy who wants to steal every good thing from you. What they're talking about is the devil. He wants to steal you. Okay. You prove to him that you're with God. He's not going to try. He will still try. You can prove to him that, yeah. He lures you in with smaller choices. And once you start exposing your heart and mind on healthy things, he tempts you to cross the next line and the next. He's relentless in his desire to rob your sense of purity because he knows that if he can do that, then he can flood you with shame. Shame is a feeling that you are somehow too broken, too tarnished, too far from God to even be able to find your way back. It's a, power, it's a powerful feeling that can keep you from God and the life changing love he has for you. You can always find your way back. The enemy is seeking to kill and destroy, but he's not going to saunter up and say, Hey, Denver, how about you give yourself away to the guy over there? And have a bad for a lot of years, and then maybe drink to cover up those bad feelings. And then, uh, we'll just call it good. You smack him or laugh him and laugh in his face. Whatever, I'm not ever going to do that. He's the enemy. He's smart. He's going to sideline you by trying to get you to compromise in the little things. Have a drink and feel grown up. Flirt. Go on, girl. What's the harm? Look at that picture. Step by step until you find yourself deeper and more lost than you ever, ever wanted to. Or you have you compromised or has the enemy gotten the best of you? If so, now is the time to run to your God, to call out and let His grace help you. So we are going to do the Lord help those who are living in the enemy's side. To come back to you, the ones who were with you from the start, who ended up going to Satan's side, run back to you and get back into your ways. Thank you for the wonderful day and the wonderful weather we've had. So thank you for all the work you've done in this world. And thank you for those who are celebrating another year, year of life and another year of marriage with each other. Help heal those who are in the hospital, injured and sick. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you enjoyed it. And also, if you have any, any questions, don't be afraid to ask me. I know. I'm willing to talk. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Love you guys. Have a blessed day. Bye.